All right, <clears throat> here's the moment of truth. Um, everything is back on the lathe. All the gear train is is done. All fastened back up. Uh, same thing with the lead screw. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to just check it out and see what happens. So let's turn on the power. Right now we're disengaged from the gear train just to get the lathe fired up. So you can see now the lathe is running. None of the gears are turning because that's not been engaged. Tumblers are not engaged, but you can see the gear trains engaged. This side of the gear train is moving, but not the other side because I don't have any of the tumblers. I don't have any of the tumblers into a position, so one step at a time. Everything seems to be spinning okay on that side. So let's go ahead and. Uh, put it into a medium feed and turn it back on. Alright. I've got it in D4 which if you follow D across to the fourth position we're at four thousandths and eight tenths on the feed. So let's turn it on. Alright, from this view I think we can, uh, everything is still turning, all we have to do now is engage the feed handle on the carriage, tighten up the clutch, Again, without cutting it, I don't know whether it'll withstand the torque of cutting or if something in the carriage is now needs to be looked at, which I'm sure it does because this feels all gummy. I'm sure the grease is 100 years old. Let's take that out. And then we got this cross feed. And there, that, that's feeding as well. Again, without actually taking cuts on this thing, um, I don't know whether it will withstand the torque from taking the cut. But that seems, uh, it's a good sign that everything else here as far as the gear train 
the quick change gearbox and the lead screw is transferring torque and power to the carriage. Uh, let me modify it. Let me change the gears uh, feed and, and turn it back on. Alright, I modified it to the fastest feed, which is 53 and a half thousandths. Let's see what happens. I know the lead screw's got a little bit of a bow in it, so... Well, hopefully you stuck with me through the end, and uh, if there's any questions or comments, you like it, you don't like it, you know, feel free to put a comment in there. Um, I'm going to keep moving on this lathe. This gets me to a point where I've got a little bit more versatility with it. Now I just have to work on the wear that's in this section, uh, the carriage, and just uh, see what's going on with that. See why the clutch appears to be sticking a little bit when it should just come free like I said it's probably old grease in there something that's just all gummed up with dirt and debris and years and years of neglect um, while I'm in there I can take a, take a look at the half, uh, half nuts they engage it works uh, I know the lock for the carriage over here that doesn't work it doesn't hold the carriage in place uh, but we're moving forward, one step at a time, one, one small, small, minute step at a time. All right, this is Mike. Thanks again for watching. Uh, hopefully you can subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment whether you like it or not. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.